Libra, hi. So this is going to be a reading for June 3rd through the 9th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings. So they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Libra. <clears throat> Ooh. All right, the overall energy for the reading, the strength card. Um, that could mean multiple things here. I'm looking at the current situation. There's a lot of, um, quite intense energy here, but in a good way. So that could be that in terms of expressing how intense the energies are flowing around. Uh, we'll have to clarify to see more about that. But in the recent past, the two of wands, the seven of pentacles, the four of wands, working on a commitment here but everything has been put on a pause i'm not sure why but okay yeah putting effort into a commitment here but there's a big pause on top of it okay in the current situation the ten of cups the magician the king of cups this is the manifestation of love basically that you're kind of in the middle of um I'm not <laughs> ultimately you're manifesting the energy of love now for some of you it could be tied up to a particular person but ultimately it comes down to you manifesting love and happiness and just kind of having it and working with it um and just attracting it as an energy okay Pretty cool manifestation you got going on there. In the uh, immediate future, the hangman, the knight of swords, the hermit. <laughs> this is interesting because this is like a... What are you doing? No, we're not playing with balls inside the house. Well, we are, but no. Uh, this is like a stop and go kind of a thing, which doesn't look bad. It almost feels like you're on a mission here. You're you're going in a particular direction. But from time to time, you stop and smell the roses, you know? So it doesn't look bad from that perspective here. It actually looks quite good because it's, it's quite needed, you know, to sometimes stop along the way. So, all right, let's, uh, let's clarify. Let me do the strength card. The Emperor, the Death card, the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, you overcame something quite big here. And that's why the Strength card is here. Um, you've gone to the process of potentially parting ways from an energy that seems to be quite authoritative. Quite, you know, if, if you looked at this energy from the distance, you would probably say, oh, they got a hold on everything, you know, and everyone in their life or something. It's one of those where it's, it would be very hard to come out from the situation with this type of a person. Um, not sure. Pretty, pretty big energies. Cause, cause I see your connection to this energy and then I see you standing strong and independent, stepping out of, uh, this hole created by you and this energy. Um, <clears throat> okay. Let me see the two of wands in the recent past. Uh, in, yeah, in the recent past. The sun, the fool, the three of wands. Let me do the Seven of Pentacles. Why do I have a feeling this was the deal there with this energy, the commitment there? Because it all came to a sudden stop at some point. For the Seven of Pentacles, you get the Page of Swords, the Ten of Cups, the Four of Wands. And let me do the Four of Wands. Hmm. 
For the Four of Wands, you get the Four of Cups, the Three of Pentacles, the Chariot. Yeah, there's, uh, it all came to a sudden stop. Energetically speaking, things have been a little off for you for quite a while here. Um, but you brought this to a sudden stop because I kind of see you in the middle of this while you work on this and then you just sit down and look in a different direction from this and that's where you see happiness, your happiness. You're not seeing it here where you're sitting. That's what created the sudden stop because over here, if anything, you have the Four of Cups. You're quite disappointed. You're not really happy with where things are going or how, how, how things are in this situation. So initially it came through as a sudden stop. Now what happened after? I feel like somehow you pulled out of it and you're showing up independent here. Um, not, I can't tell what kind of a commitment that is. That could have to do with work. That could have to do with a friendship. More than that, I don't know. But okay, let's do the Ten of Cups in the current situation, the Page of Pentacles, the Six of Swords, the King of Pentacles. So something is starting to kind of create form here for you, but it's all under, it's like I'm seeing you manifesting in the background as an energy, and then I see that energy playing off, and then I see the physical form of it. And they're starting to blend. Because uh, something is starting to come together here. I'm not sure how fully aware you are that this is actually your manifestation playing out. Because this energy in the physical seems quite little. Quite... Hmm, okay, yeah, this, this, this feels good. But it, it's part of a puzzle. A bigger puzzle. You know, it's a piece of a puzzle here. Um, the first piece of the puzzle you got going on. The, the puzzle called manifestation here. Um, for the magician, you get the five of swords, the magician, the strength card. Huh. You, uh, uh. This manifestation carries a um, little bit of stuff from the past situation, though, too. But you're not aware of that. So it's almost like a transfer of manifestation. Okay, that was what I was manifesting. And then now I'm manifesting something brand new, but I forgot to change the label that this is new. So it kind of continues through from that manifestation somehow. Um, and it also signifies that you're not done healing that. You're, you show up as being done, but you're not done if it's still shown up in your manifestation here. Um, okay, let me do the King of Cups in the current situation. You get the Five of Pentacles, the Six of Cups, the Two of Cups. Yeah, and this one could interfere with this one. So there's something new forming here. There's something new forming right now for you. Um, because there's a little bit of a blend with the past energy here, it might interfere with what's new and forming, what's new and upcoming for you. You know? Um, so you're done, but you're not done. Kinda, with the past energy. Um, I, excuse me. Uh, so you might have to... How do you separate these, though? Take this new experience for what it is as much as you can without trying to, to compare it much with the experience you're just closing because you're again you haven't closed it off quite yet completely even though it seems that way there's a blend there there's a mix of energies between the old and the new which yeah but no uh let's not mix and match here if possible for the hangman in the immediate future, you get the Nine of Cups, the King of Cups, the King of Swords. 
Man, this feels good. What the hell is this? Yeah, you're taking another... I like you and your little breaks, you know? You're like, oh, hold on, let's reassess, you know? Because uh, they are helping, these breaks that you're you're taking. So that tells me when you're taking a break like this with the hangman, you're definitely you're definitely onto something here. Like you feel like something is, it's okay, but there's something about it that's not quite as it should be, you know. And you're taking this big break. You're you're bringing it everything into center again, um, inward, and you're just sitting with it and letting it unfold as it is. At least this new experience, and it looks beautiful. Um, it looks beautiful in the way you perceive it and the way you feel about it. So, for the Knight of Swords, you get the Seven of Wands, the Ten of Swords, the Judgment card. Why are you bringing this past with you? You don't want to, though. So you are starting to be aware of it and of when you're bringing your past with you, you know, your past experiences. That could mean anything like, okay, let's say you're dealing with something new, right? And you have the tendency, because something happened in the past experience that has nothing to do with the new experience, to you have the tendency to kind of take this new experience as, well, because something happened within the past experience, that, then it's a must that it's going to happen in this experience, even though one experience has nothing to do with the other. Um, so you may have the tendency to do that, but... You don't want to be doing that, which is telling me you're very much aware that you may go there from time to time, you know, which it's going to happen. <clears throat> We're humans. We're going to do that, you know, but it's important to be aware about that so that we don't do that anymore. <laughs> and that's exactly what you're doing here. Um, since I got your pillow down, you've been more um, present up in my face. Which, uh, it's cool because I've, I've, at least I don't feel the push of the pillow anymore. For the Hermit, you get the Page of Cups, the Justice card, the High Priestess. Yeah. You know when to stop. That's what I like about this one. You know, about this reading. And not only do you know when to stop, you're learning more and more as you go. You know, and it's just going to make more and more sense. It's almost becoming part of you, like a radar of some sort. Okay, I need to stop now. Why? Just doesn't matter. I need to stop. And then once you start taking off again, um, you know what to do. So it's like knowing when to give yourself those breaks. You've learned how to do. You, you haven't learned yet, but you're learning. You're in the process of learning. And by the time you get here, you're a pro at it. You know? So that's a good one. That's a really good one. Things are looking up here. <clears throat> <clears throat> If you keep going at it from this perspective of sometimes let's take a break, you know, and let's reassess. <clears throat> from the universe, you get the Ace of Swords, the Hierophant, the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, you know exactly what you have to do here. What you want to do, what you have to do, you know exactly what's up. And I feel like, you know, because the pauses help a lot, you know, the, the times in which you make those sudden stops and then you reassess and then um what you're doing is basically bring it at all inward you know centering yourself and from that point you're golden and then when you feel like uh oh i'm losing it again okay stop that's kind of what i'm seeing through this reading which is pretty cool so yeah that's uh that's what i have for you hope this helped and i'll see you next time bye